Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, uh, I'm glad to once again be joining you. Um, I was hoping that this afternoon I will be able to do a live video streaming um, so that I can be able to take you uh, through, um, especially for those of you that will be writing mathematics tomorrow. First of all, just, uh, uh, you know, just greetings from your award-winning uncle. Hey, how do you like that, guys? And thank you so much to all of you for your support, you know, just for continuing to be, um, you know, a part of this journey and this channel. Uh, for those of you that uh, have just recently subscribed, of course, uh, my name is Mlumi Singosi, and uh, I try to do the best when it comes to maths and science. Um, now, some of you are going to be writing mathematics uh, tomorrow, and I just wanted to help ease, you know, your nerves, you know. Uh, I know that some of you will really, really be nervous about that exam tomorrow. So let's talk about what's going to happen. So you're writing out of 150 marks, right? And um, I can tell you this already. A large portion of those marks will be coming from uh, functions, right? You're writing paper one. A large portion will be coming from functions. Now, if you were to say to me right now, uncle, I am panicking. I don't even know. I'm running out of breath. I don't know what to do in terms of my maths tomorrow. I would say if you wanted to have quick revision, right? Look at functions. Of course, you've carried functions throughout grade 11, grade 10, grade 11, grade 12, right? Uh, make sure that you have a look at that. And um, if for those of you who don't know, I do have an entire playlist. Right? Rather than go into a uh, video search, rather go and check the playlists um, that I have curated on functions. You'll see there's the linear function, the quadratic, there's even the cubic function. Okay, so please have a look at functions because that constitutes the biggest part of uh, your paper one results, right? Now, let's talk about the second thing. Uh, there's a tendency of uh, that you guys would then go and stress yourself about, hey, but what if I did not do probability, which, you know, tends to give you guys a bit of a challenge. I'm not sure why. I'm still going to publish a video later on on probability just as a revision for November 2022 and look at the uh, questions that I've done from November 2022 today, right? Just uh, for revision purposes, right? Now, um, I would say at this stage, if you feel like uh, the other sections, like, for instance, probability, like the application of calculus, you know, where you've got those word sums are giving you a bit of a nightmare. I would say to you at this stage, perhaps it would not be something that you want to give focus on right now. Why? Because you do not want to uh, start developing anxiety prior to, you know, the exam. You know, um, for me, I would say try and work on the things that you already are sort of perfecting or the, the things that you already know that you know that will not necessarily cause you to panic a lot, okay? Because at this stage, we are just consolidating, you know, taking those things that we know and making sure that we can apply them as practically as possible, okay? Right, now, let's talk about the, the third thing. So essentially what I'm trying to say is, um, you know, uh, just make sure to avoid, you know, those things that are causing you a lot of anxiety at this stage, right? Now, let's talk about the third thing, right? You want to try and avoid learning things from scratch right now, okay? So, I would say use past exam questions, right? Uh, fortunately, I do have videos where I've, I've treated uh, past exam question papers, right? So, do those now, right? And make sure that you look at those memos as well, okay? Because that is what will help you to actually gain, um, you know, a bit more confidence, a bit more of, uh, you know, just knowing what to do in terms of uh, those exams, all right? And uh, um, just the, an another thing that you just need to note in that case um, is that 
remember, you know, uh, the, the thing about tomorrow, when you get into the exam, right? When they say you may start writing, okay? Remember, you don't necessarily have to start from question one all the way up until question 10, right? You have the option to start from the question that gives you more confidence. For instance, if you say, look, I master functions or I master, um, you know, uh, let's say calculus, right? Nothing wrong with starting from question eight, right? Working your way all the way through, uh, um, you know, the whole of question eight. And thereafter, you know, what you're not allowed to do is to juggle from one question to the next, okay? So when you treat question eight, answer the whole of question eight and uh, just avoid, you know, uh, spending too much time uh, on, you know, something that you know that uh, uh, is challenging to you, right? Mm -hmm. So you are writing uh, out of 150 in three hours. So that means that you need to spend approximately about a minute, right? Uh, in per question, okay? At least if you are going to finish on time. So what I'm going to advise you to do is please make it a point that you time yourself for each and every question. Now, the questions like, um, say in the applica application of calculus, where they give you, um, you know, they ask you to prove an equation, right? So they may say to you, prove that the cost is given by whatever, whatever, right? Now, if you know that the proof, you haven't really mastered the art of, uh, you know, doing the proofs, right? I would say to you at this stage, what you want to do is make sure that you apply, right? Remember, they will say that after, uh, you know, uh, uh, prove that, or, or rather, uh, they'll say uh, maximize the cost or whatever the case may be, right? Uh, they'll say to you, um, for this cost equation, right? Uh, find the maximum cost, you know, for fencing or something like that. And you know, what do you do? You take that equation that, has, that they've given to you and you take the derivative and make it equal to zero, right? So if you know that, um, you know, usually those derivations give you a bit of a nightmare and a headache, I would say to you, the best thing to do is rather to go and uh, rather apply them, okay? And they do so very deliberately, right? Because they're making sure that even those who didn't get the equation do not lose out on the marks that are to follow, right? So at the end of the day, just make sure that you try and maximize on that, okay? I wish I was doing this live so that I could take your questions, but I will look at your questions a little bit later on um, uh, in, in, in this case. So you can actually on the comment section, uh, put your questions there and uncle will have a look at them, right? Now, uh, let's talk about uh, another thing, right? Um, there are word sums, right? For instance, financial maths, um, application of calculus and, um, you know, sequences and series, uh, which is number patterns, right? Um, now, some of you are not necessarily the best when it comes to, you know, reading and uh, comprehending, uh, you know, within reasonable time. So I would say for some of you that are wired that way, okay? Uh, and it's not necessarily that it's a good or bad thing, uh, but in this case, it might be that, you know, it is your, um, you know, that that's, that's your reality, right? So, if you're finding that uh, you, you know, with comprehending those type of questions, uh, that is something that's challenging to you, I would say leave that to the, uh, um, you know, to answer that at the end, okay? So that's something that you will only look at once you are done with the other stuff, okay? Right, and um, ladies and gents, I, uh, I want to uh, say when it comes to uh, Matt's paper one, all right, of course, you are expecting that there will be those tricky questions, right? That will, you know, give you a bit of a challenge here and there. Uh, right, do the best that you can, right? I always say, uh, you know, give yourself that 10 second rule. If within 10 seconds, you don't know what to do, okay? In a question, please pass, 
because remember if you know what to do you will simply just answer the question directly okay but if you keep reading and rereading and rereading and you don't know what to do um, i would say gladly pass that question that's something that you will look at right at the end okay right and finally ladies and gents um if tomorrow doesn't go as well as you like it's also not the end of the day okay it's not the end okay uh, you might still get another chance um i did say on the video that i published um that you know just like in the previous year um, they might give us another opportunity to rewrite again uh, in november so that is something that you really want to consider the possibility of you know uh, but i would say to you please use the momentum that you have gained now okay to try and prepare for november meaning uh, don't take a long-winded break you know where uh, you're just doing absolutely nothing uh, even for those of you who tend to do who would do well for this exam uh, i would say please don't take the time uh, you know uh, um, away from your books uh, because you also want to have the momentum come next year you know, for those of you who will be going into universities. Right, ladies and gents, uh, I hope this live video will be of uh, help to you. That, uh, well, it's not a live video, but uh, I will, uh, 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 you know, uh, premiere it, right? And I hope that it will assist you towards tomorrow. And I want to wish you the best of luck. As I said, uh, at seven o'clock, I will publish uh, another video that I have made, you know, in revision of November 2022, uh, do have a look at, at it. And as I said, the best thing to do when it comes to, you know, uh, using my, my um, you know, my content is to always go on to playlists, okay? I know I haven't updated them as much uh, this year, but I will try my best to uh, get them up to date as much as possible, okay? Right, so from me for now, ladies and gents, I will see you guys again next time and I wish you the best of luck for tomorrow, okay? We'll come back and just, uh, you know, uh, see uh, what we do on Saturday and Sunday in preparation for paper two. For now, I'll see you next time. Shop, shop.